It is 9:10. Welcome back, everybody. Some new details this morning about who may be more likely to get the coronavirus. Researchers found that you could be at a higher risk of getting COVID-19 if you've got the blood type A. Joining us now with the very latest is Dr. Jason Littleton. It is so good to see you. Good morning. Hi, Danielle. How are you? I'm doing good this morning. I'm just so curious about this. Why are people who've got blood type A more vulnerable to getting coronavirus? Well, recent studies have come out saying that the antigens on the red blood cell of type A individuals may bind the coronavirus actually more easily. So this is thought that a specific antigen on that red blood cell just has a higher affinity for the receptor binding domain on coronavirus. And it's also thought that these antigens might even line the respiratory tract. So basically making it easier for people to have increased respiratory illness and insufficiency if they get uh, if they get infected with the coronavirus. If you've got blood type A, or should you do anything differently? I know that we all need to mask up and social distance and all of that, but certainly people with blood type A who may be watching this right now may be thinking, all right, do I need to be taking extra precautions then? I think that's a great question. That's a question that I think a lot of my primary patients will ask. This is something that, even though this evidence is not conclusive, I do think what you can extrapolate from it is take extra precautions. If you know that you're type A, this is a situation where you want to make sure that you do, when eligible, get the vaccine. But also, you might want to make sure that you are always cognizant to social distance, maybe even wear two masks, and do certain things to protect yourself, especially if you're a high-risk individual. Well, could knowing this information help in the fight against COVID? I think definitely. I think what we have to understand, first of all, is how does it affect some of the other individuals like type B antigens, type A, B, and O, and get a better understanding. But what we are possibly seeing here and these studies that have come out with type A is that take extra precautions if you think you might be in that group and might be at a higher risk for increased morbidity and mortality. I do want to move on to another topic uh, here. The National uh, Institute of Health uh, pausing a trial testing plasma in patients with mild to moderate uh, COVID-19 symptoms. Why? And, you know, since we've seen such good results, right, with patients who are fairly severe with regards to coronavirus. Yeah, you know, this is very interesting. So, you know, basically, studies have shown that there's not a significant difference in those who've been receiving the convalescent plasma antibodies from other people who've had COVID-19. And so basically, those who have received this, ER people, ER patients who are not admitted to the hospital, haven't made a significant difference in whether they're hospitalized or not, or whether they have mortality or not. And so what the thought is, is that, you know, antibodies in this situation may not help, but antibodies that are generated by the vaccine and natural immunity actually may mean more important than those antibodies that are given through this type of plasma interaction. So if you are a former COVID patient, can you still donate plasma? Currently you can right now. The Red Cross is making that available. They're still looking for people to donate. Again, you know, I think that this evidence really is pointing to that the best way to produce immunity is really through the vaccine and through natural immunity. But right now, that hasn't been, donations haven't been halted as far as the Red Cross um, looking for donations in regarding to plasma uh, donations. Gosh, we're finding out so much more about this virus every single day. Dr. Jason Littleton, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate you as always. Thank you so much, Danielle. My pleasure. The time right now is 914.